Hello friends, welcome to our Chanel 3D world, making the world creative. Before us starting our video, if you didn't subscribe our channel, then first click on subscribe button, then click on bell icon so that you can get our video first. Today I am going to study about dress up feature in part design cat. So let's start. First open part design window. First we draw a rectangle. So click on the plane and click on the sketch. Now click center rectangle and draw a rectangle. Now click on bar exist workbench. Click on pad and give it to 100 mm. After giving it to 100 mm, if you don't see any tools bar which you put, then just right click on it and click on this tools. Now, first one jumper, it will fill your surface or edges tangentially by giving the radius. Suppose I to fill this, we have put the radius to 20. Preview, okay. I am showing it again. First, click on this tool, jump edge fillet, give the radius 10, click on the edge. This, if you can also click on surface, just click on preview. Okay, it will fill. Now, moving to next point, that is our variable radius fillet this click on this okay in it first you click to click edge then points it will change the radius by point to point if you click on this point this point this point okay then if you put the value of a five then here to here it will five you put seven then this point to this point it will be seven this point to this point you put nine it will be nine let's now starting with five seven 9, 11. Okay, and I remove. If you want to remove any point, then just single click on it. First selected, then click on it. Removed. If you want to remove this, click on it. It will be removed. Double clicking on it will also remove. Now click on radius. After that, just double click on it. Click on here R. Here, look R. Double click on it and you change the radius. I am starting from first. Click on double R. Remember, if you click on the point, then you will get removed. If you click on the R, then you will remain. Just showing. Click on the room, it will be removed. Click on the R, you change the value of R. Such so double click on R. You have to click single point and double click on R. So I am starting from this. So double click. I put it value 5. Now this, if you click on point, it will get removed. If you click on R, double click, you change the value. 7. Here you have to double click on R and if you click on this, it will remove. I have to click again and again. But it is very important point to be noted. If you click on the point, it will get removed. If you click on double R, it will give option to change the radius 9 now here i am putting 11 i'm taking another point again and i put this value to 11 30 okay now preview oh look 5 7 9 11 13 it will change the radius so this is our another one is Jordan fillet which will be variable length okay so first click on the surface now element click here click here and click here and here to put the length not radius 
so just double click on 13 will give you the changing the value i have put 5 it will fill along the length say 1 9 in that case you put along the radius but it will fill along the length 11 ok preview ok look the fill along the length and this is and where is that and this fill along the radius and this fill along the length and the face to face fillet I am pressing Ctrl Z to go back and if you want to go again forward then click Ctrl Y Ctrl Y will move you forward and Ctrl Z move you backward now face to face here to give a face which face you want I want this and another face uh, this face the fillet will be done with this face and this face of it is 5 mm press ok here you see it will fill the two phases suppose you have to want to fill these two phases and just click on first face second face give it the radius preview okay these two faces were coming so to fill that these two faces now another point it is tight tangent fillet in which you have to put the three point of i'm sorry okay try tangent time is three so this is our first and this is our face these two i want to fill by removing this face so click on this face. it will get removed and fill these two faces in a tight tangent you have to select two faces to fill these two faces i'm going to fill and this faces will get removed just click on preview ok oh so mirror message couch ok this face, this face, and I'm going to remove this face. Okay. Okay. Click on try tangent. This face, this face, and this face, and I want to remove this face. Yes. Now see. It will be make like this. So you have to also check. Your preview option and just click that it will be in the surface or not. If it will be outside the surface, then it will not possible. In that case, our fillet will go out of the surface, so it will be give error message. But in this case, it will never give any error message. I'm showing you again when I'm clicking on these two faces, this face and this face, and remove this face and click on preview then let's see it goes out of the surface here the point of this match to this but does it match with a constant that will here to here it will just touches two point outside so it will be not possible and I am clicking on this two faces I remove sorry these two faces and remove these faces and click on preview then just see this will also not move so you have to check which surface we selected this this and I want to remove this click on preview this is also not possible ok This, this by removing this, let's see. It will also not possible, it will show a mirror message. So, to check which two surfaces were better, 
if I am selecting this two surface by removing this surface, then it will possible. Yes, it will be possible. Let's see. Okay. So if you check the preview, it is within the surface or not. This is within the surface and touches this three point. So it will be happens. Okay. This is tight tangent. I have also confused in tight tangents. So sorry for tight tangent that I will not learn to build in tight tangent. Understanding the well. But I think it will be better. Just, just have to check that these three surface cutting will be within the surface or not. If you cut outside the surface, then it would give you some problem. This is chamfer. This will fill along the length and angle. Suppose you have to here yeah, mode length one, length two, length angle. Most of the case length one angle will work. Just click here. 45 degree. Now I'm going to add it with 55 degree. Length of our fillet is 2 mm. Click on preview. Okay. If you want to edit on chamfer, then just click on part button, click on chamfer. I am putting it 5 and angle to 35. This will fill along the length with an angle of 35. This is draft angle in which you have to fill with an angle only. Here select this. Okay, I am going to select this surface. It will hold the make and which with the neutral. So this will going to fill with 5 mm along which if you make an angle, then you have to make a line. Then after you make an angle, so which is our that line? So this is our that line. Sorry, two feather drafted. I am clearing on this. This is our face which is going to chamfer and our neutral element. The which will remain a straight. Build this along this, it will be making an angle of 5 degree and make chamfer. Suppose I put it 45 degree here. Face to draft this face. I want to fill and why a neutral well, which along which this will along this. This will make 45 degree fillet. Look, this is the middle line. We have it make an angle of 45 degree. This is our drafted now. There is another feature, there is three one. This is not to be better to stand. So I am going to extend a variable angle drafted. And this is the use of this is very 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 less. Now there is variable angle drafted. Click on it. Okay, click on this. So this surface. No point here. Sorry, first you have to define your neutral curve. Then after we're done, this is our neutral curve. Then click on the point. I'm telling you again. First, here drafted angle variable angle drafted. This is drafted angle variable angle. So click on variable angle. This place I want to fill neutral axis. Then click on neutral. This is our neutral. And now click on the point and how many points then change it. So I put this point, this point, this. Now just changing the value by clicking here double uh, 10 degree, 30 degree, 50 degree. One three degree and this two I put it to five degree. But in ninety degree to put a straight. Okay, click on preview. Okay, look. With twenty dislocation, you will get. Fillet.
draft. Now another cell which I already told you. This one is used to decrease or increase the thickness. Suppose you want to decrease this thickness 1 mm, I put it 20 mm, that will be along this you will get 20 mm decreases, increases, sorry. If you put minus 20 then you get increases, minus 20 this edge, first delete this. I have already done an operation along this. Put here minus 20. This axis, okay. It will get 22 degrees. And if you put plus 20, that will increase. Increase. This is our. It is treated and tapped, which you will study in genetic subject. This is used to remove the face. Suppose I draw a circle. This will be done by two meter I only can delete this circle. It will also work. Add it to 20 mm. And if you want to remove this, then just click on this. Click on this. And which surface want Keeping the surface, remove this surface. So this surface I want to, sorry. This surface I want to remove by keeping this surface. Okay. Now I'm showing you some other cases. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is our, and this is also not be used. So I'm going going to explain this replacement for this very very complicated so this is your dresser feature which is mostly commonly used is this is fillet chamfer and cell these three are most commonly used another are of no use and the tools I was studying with these are important and I skip two tools one of one is Draft reflect line, another one is this replace and this. This I'm this I'm replacing because this is very typical. The easiest way of using this is used in generative sub design, which I will study you in future generative sub design. It becomes very easy. So this is our dress up feature. Which you are going to fill the your your profile, okay? Okay.